In this video, we will enable Oracle OS Management Hub by using the Policy Advisor to set up the required identity and access management policies in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. This Policy Advisor offers a quick method for enabling OS Management Hub. The Policy Advisor automates the creation of user groups, a dynamic group, and the policy and its policy statements for a designated compartment. The Policy Advisor will need to be run in each compartment that will contain managed instances and resources. Let's run the Advisor in the root compartment first and take a look at the user groups, dynamic group, and policy and its policy statements that it creates. The Policy Advisor can be found on the overview page of the OS Management Hub section in the OCI console. Select the root compartment using the list scope. Then click Enable OS Management Hub. The Policy Advisor's panel opens and displays a review of the current compartment's setup. Since this is the first time that the Policy Advisor has been run, the compartment is missing all groups and necessary policies. Click Next. The next panel reviews all groups and policies that the Policy Advisor will create for the compartment. Since this is the first setup, all of these items will be created. Policy Advisor will create two user groups, OSMH Admins and OSMH Operators, and give them permissions defined by these policy statements. OSMH admins have managed permissions to all OS Management Hub resources, like the management agent, management in agent install keys, and will have read permissions to the discovery and monitoring metrics, along with read access to profiles and software sources. The OSMH operators can read but not modify OS Management Hub resources. Next, the policy advisor will create a dynamic group called OSMH Instances. The OSMH Instances Dynamic Group gives the OS Management Hub service permission to interact with instances, management agents, and discovery and monitoring features that meet these policy statements. These groups and policies cannot be modified during creation, but can be edited once they are created. These policy statements will be added to a policy called OSMH Policies. Click Setup when done. Let's now take a quick look at the groups and policy statements that were created by the Policy Advisor. Open the Navigation menu and click Identity and Security. Under Identity, click Policies. Let's look for the policy called OSMH Policies. This is where all of the policy statements that the Policy Advisor created reside for the compartment. And when the Policy Advisor is run in other compartments, a new policy and its statements will be created for that compartment. Now let's navigate back to the Identity section and click Domain. This is where we can view the user groups and the dynamic group that the Policy Advisor created. After enabling OS Management Hub in all necessary compartments, the next step would be adding users to the two groups so that they can interact with OS Management Hub. On the Groups table, find those groups and select them, then add users to the groups. To view the dynamic group, click Dynamic Groups and look for the OSMH Instances group. Click on it to review the matching rules. These matching rules define what instances or resources become members of the dynamic group. As new instances or management agents are created or registered that meet these rules, they are added to this dynamic group automatically. So far, we have enabled OS Management Hub in the root compartment, but we have another compartment that contains compute instances and management agent resources that need OS Management Hub. The Policy Advisor needs to be run in all compartments where OS Management Hub will manage OS updates. Let's return to the OS Management Hub overview page and select this other compartment. Use the list scope to select the compartment and then click Enable OS Management Hub. The Policy Advisor panel will step through the same setup steps with a few differences. Under the User Groups and Dynamic Groups, you'll notice that the actions for OSMH Admin and OSMH Operators says No Action and the OSMH Instances Dynamic Group says Configure. The same user groups will be reused and the initial dynamic group will be configured to include this new compartment in its matching rules. The new OSMH policies will be created and placed in that compartment. The Policy Advisor is a quick way to set up the required OS Management Hub user groups, dynamic group, and policies in a designated compartment and must be run in each compartment where instances or management agents will be managed by OS Management Hub. If the Policy Advisor's groups and policies do not work for your requirements, then these groups and policies can be created manually. Learn more about manually enabling Oracle OS Management Hub with the policy documentation and manually setting policies video.